Today we're putting up two of the most iconic cars in movie history up against each other in Forza Horizon 4 to see which one is fastest. Dominic Toretto's Dodge Charger and Brian O'Connor's Toyota Supra. Now I have done this same battle in the past, but it was in Forza Horizon 3. We all know that Horizon 4 has a different feel to it, with a lot of the rear wheel drive cars being a bit faster at times, so I wanted to try it one more time. I'm running both of these cars with their stock motors and stock drivetrains as they were in the movie. I have both of these cars built to the top of A class. With all of my Forza Rivalries videos, I take each car on a rival's route and make three clean runs. I then take the fastest run and use that for the video. As you can see, the Charger is in its stock black paint as it was in the movie, but the Supra is wrapped in this perfect replica paint done by Hangover 1 and is available for download. I did a lot of digging to find the best replica and this is it. So like I said, I took the fastest clean run from each car for the recording. Now the route I ran is the Lake District Sprint Rivals event in A class. It's a really fast route, but also has a few really, really technical sections in Ambleside. What I did is I started my runs in the Toyota Supra. I set an average run in the Supra to start so I could run against my own ghost. So we'll start with the Supra and then finish with the Charger. On screen, you will see me running against my own ghost. And then when we run the Charger, you'll see the Charger running against my fast ghost in the Supra, if that makes sense. Now let's take a look at the run in the Supra. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back to break it down. But before that, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave the video a like for me. I genuinely appreciate the support. I'm looking to get no less than 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. Help me get there, please. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get to the Supra. So there you go, the Supra is actually very drivable and quite quick in A-Class even with rear wheel drive. The car felt surprisingly balanced throughout the entire race as you could see. There were some times where I needed some constant feathering of the throttle but nothing outrageous. Now let's take a look at the Charger. This car is an absolute beast to drive. Remember I have no assists on so if you see the car twerking about it's because it wants to kill me. We'll have a look and come right back for a full breakdown. Don't go anywhere.
As you can see there, the car is mental. It just has an insane amount of power, which makes it difficult to keep planted throughout the corners. The Charger did hold its own through the first half of the race, but once it slowed down in the tight sections of Ambleside, the Super was gone. With how OP the Charger is in A-Class for dirt racing, I was assuming it would be much faster, but we're not in all-wheel drive. That makes a huge difference in Horizon. Honestly, a one-second gap is pretty big in this race, so the Supra is clearly the better car. Looking back at the runs, it was clearly the easier car to drive as well. It was more nimble and was far less likely to spin out. Not taking anything away from the Charger though, the car is a ton of fun to drive. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, please leave me a like, a positive comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more weekly Forza content if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I am Connor Speed 6. Much love, everyone. See you soon, Busters.